Kuala Lumpur, where the girls' team have been training all week in the king of all sports. And today's the big day. It's furry, it's ferocious, it's a week to beat the world! These kids are literally at the top of their game. They're some of the fastest, strongest, most sportingest kids in the country. Rugby, discus, American football, athletics, gymnastics, horse riding and running. And they're taking their skills across the world. I've got the boys' team. And I've got the girls. Get in, Alicia. And they're travelling the most to the furthest corners of the earth to test their sporting skills against local and competing in sports they've never dreamed of trying. Okay. I've never seen a sport like it. How will they measure up with just a week to beat the world? Great. Go, 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 go. The girls have got this. No way! The boys have got this! Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Over the course of five days, sprinter Alicia, rugby player and discus thrower Neve, and horse rider Nisha have pushed themselves to their physical limits, learning the sport of lion dancing or wushi. Nice one. <laughs> They've sprinted up giant staircases, crashed through crazy night markets, and sweated buckets. All with one goal in mind. To master this sport enough, to impress elite judges Good. at the end of the week, which is right now. It's 7 a.m. in Malaysia. The girls have a massive final day ahead of wakey, them. Wakey, wakey! So there's no chance of a lion. You ready for match day? Yeah. How are your legs feeling? They feel a bit better this morning. Nisha, at least stir in your bed. <laughs> Come on, it's match day. Let me hear you roar. Roar! Yeah. Woo! I'm looking forward to leading them as a team and I just think that they need all the support we can get. I'm both happy and sad that it's the final day because obviously I don't want it to be over but I'm really happy that we're finally at the competition. I'm most looking forward to having the costumes on. We've done it with just the head but not with like the whole lion. Once the girls have stirred and the clouds have cleared, they're joined by training partners Alan, Victor and Shanice at the epic location chosen for today's competition. This is where you're going to be doing your big performance, the Tian Ho Temple. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? The Tian Ho Temple has been specially chosen because just like lion dancing, it has Chinese heritage. It's also one of the biggest temples in Southeast Asia, and it attracts a lot of tourists, so there could be a crowd too. Neve, team captain, any motivational words? So, you've tried your best. That's all you can ask for. What do you want to do? You want to win. What do you need to do to win? You need to work hard. And don't forget, be the lion. OK, you're lions. Let me hear you roar! 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 No, I said let me hear you roar! Roar! Now the monsoon has passed, the scorching 35 degree heat and 85% humidity, in which the girls have one final session to refine their routines. Oh. They haven't yet worn the full costume, learned the finer details of the routine, or mm. been taught how to so properly bring the lion to life. And the clock's ticking. There's just two hours until performance time. Yesterday I was really hoping that my legs would be much better, which they are, but not as much as I was hoping for. This may really affect my performance. Alicia has been struggling with injured legs since the step challenge earlier in the week and couldn't perform the leg clap move with Alan. If you don't perform it, you might get marked down. Yeah, but actually, no worries, I've got a solution for you. And that solution is this, a harder move that still hurts but shouldn't injure her further. This is one of the hardest things you've ever attempted. Nisha has struggled to land her first jump all week but is trying her hardest to sort it before the challenge. I think my biggest competition is probably Neve and Victor because yesterday Alicia didn't do all the stunts so she hasn't had as much practice. And Neve, who seemed strong and focused all week, is now seemingly fighting with nerves, 
that she'll forget the routine. Seven stars and then three bows. I'm quite scared for the performance today because we've only had a week to practice and we've not even been through the routine fully once, so I'm a bit nervous. Thank you. But there's no more time for practice. It is a bit nerve-wracking doing a big performance event of loads of people and judges, so hopefully it will, like, will just spur us on. The judges are taking their seats. Head judge Albert Fong is a former national and world champion and an international judge. William Pack and Exxon Soon are both international competition judges with over 50 years lion dance experience between them. Alicia, Neve and Nisha are here to uphold the pride of the girls team. But this time they're also competing against each other for individual pride. A maximum 10 points is available for each performance. 2.5 each for coordination, skilled execution, artistic expression, which they've only just been taught, and for the routine's moves. The bows. The lift and land. The jump. And the leg clap. Are you ready to see some amazing lion dancing? Yeah. Woo! That Thank is it. You. The judges are ready. Just one final decision to be made. Team captain, who do you want to go first? I think I'm going to put Alicia first. Alicia, yeah. you happy about that? Yeah. And what have you decided to do about your legs and that clap? We're not doing the clap. We're going to jump off, like, do 180 off the table. Ooh. Right, let's give it up for Alicia and Alan! <laughs> that is a bold move from Alicia. Not doing the clap could lose them points. My legs are gone still. I'm going to have to push through the pain. So this is it. Will Alicia and Alan's last-ditch plan to save their routine work? She has one minute to show everything she's learned. I'm silently wishing her well. First things first, the bows. No mistakes. A 180 on the ground straight away. It's quite a start. Straight up the double lift. And she's landed the lift. The table jump too. She seems to be doing well with the artistic side of the dance, and she only learned that in the last hour. Finale. Woo! It's the move they changed from the leg club. The 180 off the table. Brilliant. Woo! I was most proud of my 180 jump at the end because I only learned that about 10 minutes before the competition. She got away with the last minute change. More than got away with it. And Alicia bows out with her lion's head held high. Woo! Alicia! I messed up a bit. Which bit? Like, uh, when I got off the table, my foot place had just got messed up on the bows at the end. Yeah, but the 180 jump, that was the bit you were most worried about. Yeah. It looked incredible, didn't Thank it? You. you did well, man. Neve, team captain, are you proud with your first contestant? It was amazing. Who are you going to pick next? And Nisha <laughs> says she has no nerves at all. Is that true, Nisha? Yeah, like, in competitions at home, I never get nervous. All right, let's give it up for Shanice and Nisha! I think the stunt I'm most concerned with is a clap, because you've got to think about getting up and then also, like, swinging your legs around to try and clap. Woo! Come on, Nisha! Come on, Nisha! Come on, Nisha! Let's Shanice. hope Nisha's calm confidence pays off. She and Shanice did seem to struggle with a couple of moves in training. Really? Link. Bow's done. It's the first big move. Stand. Stand. Oh, no, they didn't land the lift. The move they've been battling with most in the week. But they've got up and they're trying again. Oh! Go on, yes! yes. She stayed up, she yes, stayed yes, up! Yes, yes. She fought to make that work. Great Slow recovery. And easy. Slow and easy. Their table jump is a tricky one, off balance. Jump. Turn. And no mistakes on that. Step. They're back in business and she's really bringing the line to life. The 
leg clap. Oh, yes, she's just managed it. They hit a problem early on, but stuck with it. Great work, Nisha. I think it was amazing, especially after they fell on the first jump, they kept with the beat of the music. Yeah, that's true. You did brilliantly. Thank you. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. She was amazing. OK, Neve. Are you feeling nervous still? Very. Yeah. yeah? You'll be fine, trust me. If I can do it, you can definitely. <laughs> Give it up for Neve and Victor! If the stunt goes wrong, then it would mess up the whole performance. Can Captain Neve keep those nerves of hers under control and end the girls' team's challenge and style? Don't be nervous. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bows complete. The first lift. Oh, nearly. The nerves might be getting to her. Oh, she just does it. That's more like the Neve from training. Nice blinking. Yeah, that's much better. Straight into a leg clap. Oh, she's just managed that. The two big jumps are complete. Good, 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 good. I think I was most proud of getting the the double jump and the clap correct. All right, here we go, here we go. Easy. Easy. This could be good for the judges. There's balance and artistic interpretation. <laughs> Graceful landing. The nerves seem to have gone, and she's ending strong. Yeah. Woo! Woo! That was amazing! You could feel me shaking because I was so scared. Who are you? You look a bit emotional. <laughs> that was so graceful. Thank you. Did it feel it? Yeah. You should be so proud of yourself. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Well, they all seem rightly proud. They've shown just what a strong team they are, but which of them? will come out on top. That was pretty close to my expert line dancing eyes. It's a very good thing that we can see in a short time training you can get such a good uh, uh, performance. Let's see what the judges say. First up, Captain Neve. Oh, good scores. Wow, that's 20.25 out of 30. Woo! Better than I was expecting. Next up, it's Nisha. Oh, yes! Oh, that's that's better than I was expecting. Is it? Yeah. That's 20.5. Just ahead of Neve by a quarter of a point. So close. Just Alicia to go now. But let's see what the judges thought. Wow! Amazing! 23.1. You won the lion dancing competition! <laughs> For someone who in training yesterday looked on the verge of giving up, a huge win. Yesterday, my legs were hurting so much I couldn't even walk, and now I've won the competition, so I'm so happy. How do you feel? Really surprised, but couldn't have done it without Alan, obviously. Aww. 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 Alicia's clap movement is considered difficult, but 180 is even higher standard. Woo! We are quite surprised that they can really do that. Nisha's movement of the lion and blinking the eyes is so marvellous. Neve, when we saw the clap, was like, wow, she really can clap well on that, yeah. This result, it's, it's very good. All of you should be proud. Woo! And now it's Selamat Tingal to Malaysia. Land of frantic food markets, delicious delicacies, I won't be making it one of my five a day. <laughs> Tough temple challenges. Come on, Alicia. Come on, Alicia. And lions like no others. Woo! Oh, yeah. That looks awesome. I'm really proud and happy of myself that we've gone all over the world and, like, taken on the locals at their own game, and it's just, like, an amazing experience. It's time for the girls' team to head home, knowing they've competed with Maasai warriors... Alicia! Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> raced with the nomads of Mongolia... Yeah! You guys won! ..and won hearts and minds as lion dancers. 
I'm going to be really sad to go home. It's been far more amazing than I ever expected. We've made such good friendships. Always laughing when we're around each other, and I really miss them. All this with just a week to beat the world.